saw a bunch of axes on the way in, probably like 100 yards, is that what you say, about 100 yards in. I've got Gage with me this afternoon, and uh, I'm super, super excited. I'm going to throw this face mask on. I'm going to try to stay um, as quiet as we possibly can. With axes, you can't hardly move at all. My furthest shot is looking like it's going to be about 15 yards, and my closest one is going to be about 13. So my windows aren't very big, and we're shooting straight down. So I'm going to have to aim higher because I'm uh, higher up on the body because I'm higher up. So I'm hoping that some axes roll through, and I'm hoping that they don't pick us off. And we actually saw one really good buck um, on the way through the first time whenever we came to set these stands up. So we got in super late, but that's the story of our lives. So I'm beyond excited. I've been thinking about this trip for months, and I'm going to shut up now, and hopefully we can stick a big axis this afternoon. <laughs> to uh, corn our Sendero real quick. Saw several axes last night, but no shooters. It was mainly just does, I think, and maybe one small buck. Also saw some fallow. And then, of course, you guys saw that we had that one little odd dead right here. Uh, the wind's good. Feeling good. Um, I shot out of this blind and, and shot a, a bag target this afternoon just to make sure that everything was right where it needed to be. And I'm feeling really confident with the new tri -X. So I'm, I'm just hoping that a dead gum axis will walk out for me and I can let an arrow fly. Well, son of a gun, it is. 6.45, it's almost completely dark. We had a stud of an axis buck. Actually, there were two of them, I think. Uh, two of them, I mean, they're freaking monsters. Popped out about 65, 70 yards. And looked all the way down here at us, and there's like 20 odd dads standing underneath the feeder. They didn't have a care in the world to come down here and, and eat some corn. Totally frustrating. Oh man, it sucks. I want to shoot one so bad with a bow. I've wanted to shoot one with a bow for a couple years now, several years actually. Uh, totally frustrating, but we're gonna pull these stands down and supposedly there's another set on the back side of the ranch that is way better for the axis. And so we're gonna put these two climbers or hang-ons or whatever over there and hopefully I'll get a shot at a big axis. But we're gonna crawl down out of here, go grab some dinner and hopefully I'll be uh, sticking a big axis in the morning. Uh, welcome back everybody it is late tonight and we are setting up tree stands bradley is way up there cutting him out some shooting lanes dylan's got some he's putting up some steps so we can climb in this big old tree um the plan is still the same we're going to try to get us an axis in the morning bradley's still in the tree that's a good thing so we're going to try to get us access in the morning. The setup is looking really good. And we're going to let y'all know what happens. Good morning, everybody. We're starting day number three here. I have Gage with me. He's wrapped around the tree up there. We're, uh, we're trying to get it done this morning. Watching the woods come alive. And uh, we just got everything corned and we're ready to go. I'm, I'm hoping that. A big axis buck will walk in, but if if that's not the case, then we're going to pull these stands down and we're going to relocate to where we think some other big bucks are hanging out, and I'm probably going to have to hunt all day long to get it done. So, yes, this is high fence hunting, but this is some of the toughest hunting I've done in a very, very long time, and it's uh, it's ridiculous, and uh, the reward and the, the payoff will be great especially if I get it if I get it done with a bow
What do you do about that? I mean, come on, man. <coughs> I wanted to shoot that buck and velvet. I mean, it's a stud of a deer, but with the combination of our wind blowing to them and those whitetails standing there, they just didn't want to do it. They didn't want to do it. Whitetail and axes don't like each other, and so uh, they tend to run each other f off from the corn, and it uh, looks like the whitetail won. It really, really, really sucks. It's so frustrating. I ranged that. That big velvet bucket, like 19 yards, 20 yards. But whenever, uh, whenever he got out into the open, of course our wind's blowing right back to him. And he tried to put his head down for a minute and grab a bite to eat. A bite to eat. And uh, he kept looking at us, and then he kept looking at the white tail. Just wasn't comfortable. So it's all right. We still got some time. It's still early this morning. Maybe they'll come back. And we've still got an afternoon hunt ahead of us, and I'm hoping that everything goes as planned. It's going to be quick. Get in the buggy. Should have stayed at 40. We're gonna have to reach out there. We're not gonna have to put, we can't push him any more than what he's given us. I just don't wanna shoot him and not find him. Yeah. No, we're we'll the, good, the good thing about it is early enough we got a lot of, lot of time. Let's see if they come back and he's over there. I mean, I understand. I wanted to get like five yards closer because that's with this new bow, that's what I'm confident with, you know, 20 and 30. Yeah. I have to take a shot at 40, but I just give up and scared. I mean, I had him, I had him at 33 yards when I first stopped, and then we creeped up a little bit more, like another two yards, and I had him at 31, and I was like, oh, day, you know, that's it, and I was going to draw back, and he, they bust me the ball.
those all dead get in front of me. Get ready, get ready, get ready. What's he at? What's he at? 47. Where did it go? Did you see the shot? I got it, yeah. Was it hot? Was it perfect? I thought it was perfect. It was pretty good, bro. <gasps> I thought it was perfect. Yes. Was it perfect? It was good, man. <sighs> no way, it was I couldn't see it. It was good. Oh my god. No freaking way. I didn't see it. Oh my gosh. What's your heart rate like right now? I'm million miles to nothing. Hey, I'm even shaking. Me too. <laughs> I'm all over here. you, dude. Oh. Are y'all sure? Yeah, that was a good shot. Are you sure? Good shot.
but you got it in there. Alright. Serious, man. You suck it in there. <laughs> Are you serious, man? Are you serious? It's been like a five-year chase for an axis like that. Oh my gosh! I don't know, man. Oh no. Both the old triax did it the job, didn't it? Man. He ducked into it. I he saw did. it duck. Yeah. But I was holding low. Yeah. Oh my goodness, man. That was a back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. We would corn this in there, he'd come out, we'd scoot up on him, it'd be like 30, 35, 40, and he wouldn't he wouldn't stay still. And finally, finally. Dylan ranged him like 34 yards. I just slipped out of the buggy, drew back, and let him have it. And it looks it looks good. I feel like it might have been just a touch bit high, but everybody's saying that it looks good. Oh, dang it, I sure hope so. Holy crap, man. I don't know what to think. That's freaking awesome. I've been wanting to shoot an axis for like three or four years now. I can't believe that. We've been hunting hard like three or four days straight now, and I've had several chances, and they're just spooky. Either the wind wasn't right, or you know they don't get along with other animals very great, and so the other animals would run them off, and everything just lined up right there. Oh, we were going to get in the blind for this afternoon and set up, and there they were. As soon as we pulled through the gate, they were hanging out, and we saw him. I was like, man, that, that one's a freaking stud right there, 30 inches or so, 32. He may be bigger, he may surprise us, but black tips, beautiful coloration, just an awesome buck. I can't wait to go look for him. Yeah, I saw him. He was his head's up and everything. I've got, <coughs> I got, I got a whole lot better penetration than I thought I did. I mean, you're looking up to at least here, at least half the arrow. This is a 29-inch arrow, and you're looking at, it, at least did half. They the not deploy. Yeah, they did, but they close back up whenever they slip out the back. Like whenever they come out the back, they close back up. Oh yeah, long yeah, that's long. Yeah. If you, you might could see him, he's his head's up. seen his, his flail or his tail flicking so I think he just died um, from the time the shot just happened we're looking at less than five minutes so uh, very quick very humane you know two inch mechanical I bent the blades the shot the shot was a little bit higher than I would have liked for it to have been but I clipped both lungs and I can see him right now I mean I'm looking at him in the brush hunt absolute hunt of a lifetime that is a stud of an axis deer. I can't wait to get up there and get my hands on him. I know he's he's expired by now, but I'm just I'm thrilled to death. Like I, I couldn't be any more excited. I've been on the run for an axis deer for so long now. Like I, this place is absolutely covered up in axis. I've had multiple opportunities and I just stuck the biggest buck of my life. Like that was that was incredible. I don't even have words. 
I see him right now. He's flicking his tail a little bit, actually. Um, so he's not quite dead yet. But we're going to give him probably 25, 30 more minutes, maybe a little bit longer. And he should be expired. And we'll be able to go up there and get him and uh, do the recovery. Give him some more, one more time, man. That's, oh, man. I'm so excited. I'm so freaking happy. 34 yards. 32 and a quarter on his left beam. 33 on his right beam. Pretty nice axis, but you bet. It's kind of got a little bit of character too. He's got some extra points here, little kickers. Makes him a four by four. Uh, normally, axis is a three by three. Uh, nice, healthy, three and a half year old, four and a half year old axis buck. All right, well, let's get him on the rack and clean him up. Well, guys, I know I didn't film much of the, uh, the tracking there towards the end. Um, I didn't want to get this video much longer than what it already is, but uh, you, you guys know that I've been after an you know, axis for years now. I mean, if you scroll way back to the beginning of the channel, uh, I've been going on hunts and trying to shoot one, trying to shoot one, trying to shoot one, and these animals are so incredibly stealthy and smart, and they're just so hard to get into bow range. But I was lucky enough to, to come out here and do it with with Dylan and Gage from Rock Bluff Outdoors, and if you guys haven't already, their information will be linked down below, as well as the information of the ranch. So uh, if you guys ever want to come out here and hunt black buck and fallow, axis, uh, what else, sports, and you know, uh, whitetail, all that, I mean, there's, you name it, he can get it, and you guys can come out here and hunt and do the same thing that we did. Um, lots of great rifle blinds, lots of good places to set up bow stands, the whole nine yards, but uh, last night, I guess, you know, as, as these two told y'all, I got sick, I got, I was miserable, and so I, I had to go in and lay down, and I wasn't able to be out here and be a part of the, uh, the skinning process, but I just want everybody to know that I appreciate the heck out of them, and thank you guys so much for all the love and support, it's been an incredible experience, we've been here for, I guess this is day four now, huh? um, we, we've, sh you know, shot some hogs, and then of course this guy right here, and this, uh, this made it all worth it, you know, even though I was sick, and miserable last night but we had a we had an incredible time can't thank you guys enough too i mean it was it was awesome for sure thank you guys it was awesome and i i got to do with the new tracks so i break them in and so what an awesome experience my uh my instagram will be linked down below if you guys want to jump over there and check that out at 4b bow hanging in outdoors thank you guys so much love each and every one of you and you'll catch you on the next one